third inning. And a drive to center fit deep. And that didn't. A no doubter. And the twin adjustment right there. He made an adjustment to a fastball, 95 miles an hour. And now one to left. It's four to two. Start the day game today, Correa get the day off, and Farmer a turn on, and this one was loud as well coming off. Oh, but they've come in bunches against him, and on back-to-back -back pitches to start this inning. Front. One and one. One and two. And then two at bats later hit a home run, and Julian strikes out there for the first out. Here's Polanco. And I'm not necessarily sure it was the hit that was the one that kind of let contact feel what it feels like to barrel one up again and, and hit it flush and he hit bats. He's hit a ball hard. And now Polanco into the has to go all over to retrieve it. Now have three spots a couple times and this is a good big league hit in lineup. And especially Polanco knows. Of at bats or games back in 1959 with roughly the same number of games and at bat. Not a center there. Polanco played of twins to within one. Anyway, just to wrap up the thought on McCovey and Lewis. Lewis. Half swing and strike two. Foul back. Was ready for that 97 mile per hour fastball. Down and away. Pulled over the head of Hank Conger. And now, one pitch later, we'll see. And Kepler strikes out to end the inning, but the Twins go. Twins.com slash groups. To five. Right. Foul back. Rolled to Julian. Just a little trying to make sure he did that nice and smooth. And maybe the greatest example of that was last night when Diaz fouled the couple pitches after the at bat resumed. He nubbed it between home plate and the mound and had to run. One and two. Back in there today, a double dream to make plays. At the big league level, more times than not, you're going to be out or winning your division. If Diaz strikes out here on a pitch in the dirt and it rolls away from first after strike three and again most of the time you're going to be out but every once in a while there's farmer. It might only work out once a year but that one time could be the difference. That's why if you play it. Rosarena takes a strike. Michael has gotten down by Lewis firing across and they may have hit flesh. But he was able to stay with it, get the out. The Twins. Up and away. One and one. Up the line foul toward the Twins dugout. Kirilov, a strikeout to start the fourth. Lefties and got some swing and miss. That's been a big swing and miss pitch for him in this game. Jeffers drives one to the game. field. And that ball caught and Jeffers with extra base hit. And it just was tailing back towards him. Kind of scared. On the ground. Diaz looks across the diamond, but popped up. Bruhan is there to end the inning. Read the ground ball, more reactive at third. He did a nice job of. Swing and a miss. One and one. Baltimore and the Rays losing games last night. October baseball. Still one and two. To have those teams still in it. And foul. At least in my opinion. You know. So why you would do that in the playoffs never right. made a whole lot of sense to me, but. I get it. The drama and the, the buildup of poke to right down the hall and kept her trying to pack up and leave the metronome. But that was your fault too. They couldn't. It's part of the reason why you say this thing 
Ain't over till it's over. That was a three and oh. And kind of cold. And a four pitch walk. If he hadn't already gotten a triple and a double, they may have let it ride here and bring Floro in here. We have two on and nobody out. The out, and he's got to face me who already has a triple and a double. Up and in, ball one. Meade has 39 big league at bat. and oh. So. Ooh. Pretty close. And a strike. Full count. Popped up. Near the Twins dugout. And in the dug. Knocked down, and they'll get one play, one out at first, and now Lewis across. Ten U softball, do you get it come back to the mound and you throw to third to turn a double play, but it's now. Pitches up. You're playing third base. Just based on Floro's throw, I think even the, there's another run on the board. <laughs> well, we must have put the jinx on him of <laughs> Two and two. Jeffers comes up ready to fire to second base, but full count. Short center. Castro coming in. Yeah, we've <laughs> we've talked about it at length, the depth of this play, Taylor, when he's in there. One and two. Just can put one in the seats. The Twins with two home runs today. To Putting up that big of a number. Close, but up and away, and it's two and two. Spread out pretty evenly. Fouled away again. Braves on a pace to hit 320, 307. Set in 2019. Fouled away. Good at bat going here for Farmer. That four seam fastball up with a curveball. He's done it twice already in this at bat. Single handedly running the. How about this at bat. Three and two. So eight, two strike fouls. Yeah, you ambushed him that first time up. Nine, two strike fouls. 15 pitches into this at bat, and there will be a 16 second column here pretty soon. With a dozen home runs, primarily as a second baseman. Julian doing it, a power there. And a leadoff or first pitch. 0 oh 2. That's a good changeup. Put out. Two and two. Good take. And for the 100th time this year. And there's a walk. So Farmer had a long, long. Dotting the corner down and in. Full count now to Polanco. He stays put, and there's ball four. Foul one and one. I believe it's half of the home runs he's hit. That gets away, and the runners will move up to the backstop. Wow, what a read! Squib back to the mound. Julian almost got tying run at second with two down and a pitching change for Tampa Bay. Down the right field line, deep to the corner, but foul. It'll tie them, and it's four apiece. And Kepler will try for th Solano is gone, but Kepler with two outs ties the game with another 2 2. Got him looking. No. The biggest difference in this game. Coming in. Still. And 
floor coming in. Getting an unconventional double play. Some of them anyway with the game in Baltimore between the Cardinals and Orioles tonight.